Hi, Bob here. I'm going to make a video here on how to uh, construct the small capacitor you saw me use in previous. And I did, I did explain some of it. These are just made out of little pill bottles. And you can see the bent over tab make contact with it, with the top post that's in the cap. And this is how I go about building them. First we just grab us a pill bottle. And you don't have to take the label off or anything for this particular setup. Just make sure it's clean. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to. these are have these safety lids, childproof caps. You don't have to do anything with that even. You can use them just the way they are. And what I've done is on the uh, top terminal or the ter center ter terminal for the capacitor, we just are using we're using a sleeve here. I just have this sleeve, and I have it's just a machine a machine bolt nut. I use a flat washer. I drill a hole right through the center, locate the center the best I can. And how I hold the sleeve on, as you might see, see, I I just nut it right through with the washer. And then uh, oh. stuff here so I can show it better. We got the nut and washer, this threaded machine machine screw. I, any particular length you want to make them really. And the uh, reason I put the sleeve on, let's use a real short bolt of course, which you can do. You don't need to put the sleeve on if you just go right to the but I like to. And uh, I, I'm just putting a nut on. You can uh, put other, uh, if you have a, if you have a, uh, a, some other collector, a terminal, you can, uh, and I just tighten a, snug that down, and there you have it. And uh, you can clip a wire to that or whatever you're going to use it for. But that's the top cap. Now, to make the bottom, I, uh, I have several. I'll use this. First, you start out using a. Start out by putting the uh, the inner plate in first, which is nothing more than a cut the size strip of aluminum like this. And what I do is I coat the inside wall. We're only gonna we're only gonna do the the straight edge side of the straight part of the inside of. the bottle. So I coat that with school glue. And uh, what I do to get that in and get it nice and uniform is I just take a piece of PVC, a small one, this little half inch, and I just roll it like that. And and you can put it right inside and you pick one edge, carefully pick one edge and stick it to it and walk it all the way around. Now these are way longer than they need to be. So, what you do, all you simply do is you, uh, you want an overlap. So what I do is I just 
You can do it right around the outside. And you, you simply cut it off. You leave about a half inch, at least a half inch overlap. And then when you get that stuck to the inside wall, you might want to take some scotch tape and seal the edge and press it in tight. You can let that dry. Then after that dries, you want to install the pickup. It goes to the center terminal. And what you do, I use a, a this is like a 14 gauge aluminum. You could use a pop can. Just clean off all the coating. Clean it up and you and you no, oh, it's a roughly half inch wide. And that sits right in. I've already got that figured out. I trimmed it so it fits right inside and fits the contour and it just comes up like that. And that's how you want to install it. And how I install that is I lay it, don't lay it where you it, scotch tape it, make sure you got good clean aluminum surface, aluminum to aluminum contact. And then you carefully take some tape. Now I'm going to, I use electrical tape. And I just cut a piece, I, I cut several pieces to make sure that they go beyond the edge and uh, set it down in there. I put them on here first and then I carefully set that in, set it, and then I just take your index finger and press it in tight. Now after that's done, you just leave that and then you can go ahead and put, just simply go right over the outer edge, outer, outside of the jar, and you do the same thing. You can, you can use school glue, you don't have to use any actually, you can just cut it to size, take scotch tape, tape it down. And what I do, so I can have a pickup ground like I have on this one, if you see this one, we have, I use a little alligator clip to hold my wires, but I build a, I build a tab. It's just a real simple, just take a piece of aluminum, shape it. Let's see if I get this one, there we go. And all I do is I push it on there like that, locate it where you want it. Take a little bit of electrical tape on each side and tape it into place. And that's it. And then, what I like to do, as you can see here, I have coated, uh, covered the entire outside plate of the capacitor. This would be the grounding plate, or the negative. Or however you want to hook it up, actually. And then I tape it all up. I just cover it. That way you can handle it without worrying about any residue, residual buildup in it in case you touch the two. If you touch these two at the same time and if there's any residual in it, it'll let you know. Now as in all capacitors, just because it's small like this, don't get the, get the false illusion that they can't hurt you because it can. These things will build up and get a pretty good jewel value in them. And it is going to set you on your butt. So don't do it. These are not toys. These are for working with my other experiment, my other demonstrations you have seen on my channel. I've used them in several of the videos. And I thought if you wanted to make one, they're small, they're light, they're easy easy to construct and it'll be just fine. Alrighty, talk to you later. Be careful.